This is a review from the topics for this week. We've got finding the volume of a prism, finding the surface area of a prism, and we've got the volume and surface area of cylinders, spheres, and cones as well. So the volume of a prism is the area of the shape on the front. So the area of the shape on the front times how far back it goes. So the area of a triangle is half base times height or base times height over two. So that's going to be half of six times five, which is the same as three times five, which is 15. So the area of the shape on the front is 15 centimeters squared. Then we're going to multiply it by how far back it goes to find the volume. So the volume is going to be 15 times 15, which is 225. So 225, and it's a volume, so we measure in cubes, centimeters cubed. Okay, one of these for you to try, so give it a go. So the volume is the area of the shape on the front times how far back it goes. So we've got a rectangle on the front this time. So the area of the rectangle is 6 times 10, which is 60 meters squared. And we're going to multiply it to find the volume by how far back it goes. So 6 sevens are 42. So 60 times 7 is 420, and it's in meters cubed. So the answer, the volume, is 420 meters cubed. Finding the surface area of a prism. To find the total surface area, we find the area of every surface and add them all together. So for this first shape, we've got a trapezium on the front, an identical trapezium on the back, and then we've got four rectangles for the top, the bottom, and the two sides. So the area of a trapezium, so for the front, the area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides. So half of 6 plus 12 times the distance between them, which is 4. So 6 plus 12 is 18. Half of that is 9, and 9 fours are 36. So the area of the front is 36 centimetres squared. The back is the same as the front. So the back has also got an area of 36 centimetres squared. The top is 6 times 10. And 6 times 10 will be 60. The bottom is 12 times 10. 12 times 10 is 120. And both of the sides are 5 times 10. So we've got two sides that are both 5 times 10, which is 50 centimetres squared. We've worked out the area of every surface, the front, the back, the top, the bottom, and the two sides. So to find the total surface area, we need to add them together. So we've got 36 and 36, which makes 72. 60 and 120 is 180. And 250s are 100. So we've got 72 plus 180, which is 252, plus 100, so 352 centimetres squared. It's an area, so we measure it in squares. And one of these for you to try, so give this one a go. So we've got a cuboid. So the front is the same as the back. 
So if we work out the area of the front and the back, that is 6 times 3, which is 18 meters squared this time. And the back is the same as the front, so that's also 18 meters squared. The top and the bottom are the same. They're both 6 times 5. And that is 30 meters squared. And the sides are both 5 times 3. And 5 times 3 is 15. So again, we've got the area of every surface now and to find the total surface area we'll add them all up two 18s are 36 two 30s are 60 two 15s are 30 so 30 and 60 make 90 plus 36 is 126 so that's 126 meters squared Okay, now we're on to cylinders. So we've got two questions here, one for volume and one for surface area. A cylinder is the same as a prism in that we find the area of the cross section, so the area of the circle in this case, times how far back it goes. So the volume is going to be pi r squared. The area of a circle is pi r squared times the height. So we're going to do pi r squared times the height. The radius, so the diameter is 8, so the radius is half of the diameter, which is 4. So we're going to do pi r squared, so pi times 4 squared times 10. So 4 squared is 16. So 16 times pi, we can just write as 16 pi. So 16 pi times 10, and that is going to be 160 pi. We can leave our answer in terms of pi unless we're asked to, to do otherwise, in which case we'll have to use a calculator. So we've got 160 pi centimeters cubed because it's volume. Question two. This time we're working out the total surface area of the cylinder, of a cylinder. So a cylinder has got a circle on the top and the bottom, two identical circles. So two identical circles, and it's got a rectangle. If you could unfold a cylinder, unwrap it and flatten it out, the curved bit would be a rectangle. The two circles are going to be pi r squared, so pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so that's 25 pi, and it's in meters squared. So we've got two of those. And the rectangle, it's got a height of 6, and its length is the circumference of the circle. So this is going to be the length of the rectangle all the way around. So the circumference of a circle is either 2 pi r or pi times diameter. So the diameter is 10. So that's 10 pi. So 6 times 10 pi. It's got a height of 6, a length of 10 pi. So the area is 60 pi meters squared. So we've got our three surfaces, we need to add them up. So we've got 25 pi plus 25 pi plus 60 pi, which is 110 pi. 110 pi meters squared is the total surface area. And finally, we've got spheres and cones. So again, we've got one question on spheres, one question on cones here. 
question one, a sphere has a radius of 10 centimetres, find the volume of the sphere. So with spheres and cones, we're given the formulas, so we don't have to remember them, and we just need to substitute in. So the radius is 10, the volume is 4 over 3, pi r cubed, so we substitute 10 in for r, so it's 4 over 3 pi times 10 cubed, and we can just type this into a calculator. So we've got 4 over 3 pi times 10 cubed. So we've got 4,000 over 3 pi, or if we wanted a decimal, we could press the S to D button. But 4,000 over 3 pi is OK. And that is in centimetres cubed. Find the surface area. Again, the formula is given to us. 4 pi r squared. So it's 4 pi times 10 squared. So if we type that into the calculator, well, 10 squared is 100 times 4 is 400 pi. And that's centimetres squared. Question two, we're looking at cones. So we've got a cone with a radius of three and a perpendicular height. So H is four, R is three. Find the volume. The volume is one third pi R squared H. So one third pi times R squared times H. And we can just type that into the calculator exactly how it looks. So one third pi times r squared times h, and that's 12 pi. So we've got 12 pi, and it's in centimetres cubed. Find the total surface area of the cone. So the total surface area is the curved surface area plus the circle on the bottom and we need to know l we haven't been given it but we can work it out using pythagoras so we've been given r and h we need l and r h and l form a right angled triangle so we've got r and h we need to work out l we know h is 4, r is 3, so Pythagoras tells us that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals l squared. The two shortest sides squared and added up equal the longest side squared. 3 squared plus 4 squared, 9 plus 16 is 25. So l squared is 25, which means l is 5. So we know L now. So we've just got to work out the curved surface area and the area of the circle and add them together. So curved surface area is pi RL, so pi times the radius, which is 3, times L, which is 5, so 15 pi. And that's centimeters squared, the circle is pi r squared, so pi times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, that's 9 pi centimetres squared. So the total surface area, 15 pi and 9 pi, which is 24 pi centimetres squared. We're leaving our answer in terms of pi. If the question asked, for a decimal, number of decimal places, we can just type it into the calculator. And that was our week six review. So there's an assessment now available. Click on the link in the description or at the bottom of the page if you're watching on the website.